Today, we are going to build a Super Bowl winning roster by playing Weddle. Weddle is basically just another spinoff of Wardle, but of course, for just NFL players. And basically, if I guess a player correct, I'll add them to the team and we'll sim an entire season until that team lifts the Lombardi. And this is honestly one of my favorite videos I've ever done, so I hope you guys do enjoy it too. It has also been a while since I've set a like goal, so let's aim for 2,500 likes and we could potentially do this idea again in the future, maybe even live. Also, 80% of you people watching right now aren't subscribed and we are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers this month, so please subscribe. It is completely free and you can always do it later if i end up becoming celtics shack huh? and you thought i forgot didn't you nope we did not i got my people shout out to awesome optimus john hutchins oxum autumn i don't know love the obito picture though my guy hellcat vince and of course short hoops too shout out to my goats and uh yeah enjoy and let's go ahead and get into it if you guys do not know how weta works the rules are right here so go ahead and pause read over it if you want to and of course i would love for you guys to play along as well because the real ball knowers are gonna stand up all right and let's get things started here with the very first player i'm gonna go with pete warner if you know why, then you freaking know why. Okay, we got absolutely nothing there. He's not on defense. He's not in the NFC. He's over 6'3", it looks like. So most likely an offensive lineman. Although it could be Justin Herbert. Although the number looks like it's over 20. Okay, so it's a lineman in the AFC. That's old as well. Let's go with my boy T. Stead from Miami. It is not an offensive tackle. It could still be interior. We know it's not in the um, AFC East now as well. We also do know now that he's aged either 31 or 30. I'm going to go with like Joe Tooney. I don't know. I'm just trying to get names out there to see if we can get anything else. It's not a guard either. What? <laughs> could be a tight end, I guess. Nope. He's number. He's in the number 60s. What the... F <laughs> What 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 a position is he? <laughs> I'm gonna go Mitch Morse, the center. I believe he signed on the Jaguars. It's Mitch freaking Morse. Okay, we kind of balled that one out. Four spins in. I guess Mitch Morse is the, the guy to start off. Also, I played these um a while ago with my friends. I don't know how to get rid of the stats, so just worry about the current streak. And you're gonna sit here and tell me Mitch Morse is six six? I guess he is. And I don't know. I guess centers are typically around this high. I just usually imagine they're like six two to six four. But hey, the very first player we get, Mitch Morse. Welcome to the team. The first of many and surprisingly enough mitch morse was not enough to get us our very first one but you know what he did do get us to a one overall back to where do we go though my highest streak right now is nine and then i got like some random kicker bro hopefully that doesn't happen today that would suck i'm gonna go let's go with my boy to can we type oh i have to hit play again don't i yep 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 okay we hit play again now let's go on to the next game let's go with my boy Tua. we know he's in the afc we know he's on defense we know he's around 27 or 28 i guess Tua isn't great because he's number freaking one hmm, i'm thinking a big juicy defensive lineman you know what i'm gonna go with one of Tua's former teammates who has moved in this offseason to the of course there's so many christians what am i doing to the raiders christian wilkins look. yeah we know ball we know ball around here <laughs> No. A top five coldest moments in our channel's history. As we get to add ourselves in our very first defensive player, and it's a great one too, in Christian Wilkins. And all I'm saying is, don't let us get hot. And also, disclaimer: I'm very sorry for the blinding white background. There's no dark mode on this website for whatever reason, so we're just gonna have to make do. To no surprise, however, another 0-17, and it's gonna take a few players for us to finally get that first win. <laughs> however, the main man put up 45 tackles, 11 tackle for losses, two and a half sacks, and ain't too shabby considering everybody on the defense is literally zero overall. As the simple key to success was just a quadruple team and you know what i mean we didn't have anybody there the trenches is looking good though the trenches is looking good i'm just gonna scroll and randomly pick someone let's go babby wagner the new <laughs> washington commander we got literally nothing there so let's go offense in the um he's way over six foot let's go he's over number 54 Actually, i was gonna go herbert but he's number 10 of course over 50 okay it's probably a tight end though could be some receivers or O line what am i saying yeah let's go tight end though let's have some fun let's go dalton kincaid we do know he's 6'4 not a tight end and also not in the afc east also under number 86 that could be big mm, i was gonna go quentin nelson but this would have been yellow because i'm pretty sure he's number 56 so instead let me cook with like titus howard i don't know that was just the first name that came to mind we do know he's about 28 29 now and he's not a tackle no over number 70 i'm gonna go maybe an offensive line i'm gonna go wyatt teller on the browns of course <laughs> yo the trenches are looking nasty almost as nasty as my ball knowledge hey yo mitch morse at center wyatt teller right guard i can have these two for the rest of the video and i'd honestly be happy and you know james connor what's stopping you from having a 50 yard season yes yeah, another 0 17 but i do see the offensive points per game up to point one <laughs> which means we scored on somebody and whoever that is shame on you look at this we're losing zero to 105 it's seattle we get over uh, they gave up three points to us and you know what? that should count as an l for them but yeah as you can see from some of these results we're still a bit away from the first win <laughs> and it's safe to say james connor did not get 50 yards and hey i said don't let us get hot now don't let us get hot i'm gonna go with mclaurin because that's 
The guy I see on my screen right there in the top threat as it's going to be wide receiver. We know he's six foot. We know he's in the NFC, not in the East, though. And he's a bit um younger than 28, under number 17, too. Okay, we can cook. Since he's way younger than 28, I think I'm going to go with a rookie, or what was a rookie, Jordan Addison, last season. Of course, we do know he's in the North now, though, over 5'11". I mean, we know he's six foot, and he's also going to be 23, 24. I'm going to go, I'm just going to start firing off Jaden Reed on the Packers. We now know he's not on the Packers, so it's going to be Lions or the Bears, and he's going to be 23, 24, 25-ish, 24, 25. He's also number... This is Amon Ra, isn't it? Because Amon Ra is number 14. That checks out. He should be 24, 25, I'd guess. That checks out. And he is six foot as well. Ladies and gentlemen. Nope. How do you... Amon Ra St. Brown. Welcome to the team. Current streak of four. Don't let us get hot now. And just four players in. We already got ourselves a 95 overall. Superstar. X-Factor. Loki. The offense. Looking kind of deadly already. Still zero wins this season. However, our offensive points per game has skyrocketed up to 1.1. And the Sun God himself kind of cooked. 53 catches. 803 yards. Also even found himself in the end zone. So just four players in. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. We're getting some great players too. I'm so used to getting like the backup offensive lineman for the Shanghai Sharks or something in these stupid wheel videos or those wheel videos that i do let's go james connor with um guest number five player number five i guess we do know he's in the afc he is on offense he is 6-1 and he's 29 to 30 also under number under number six that's big time he's 29 30 years old this hmm. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to go Stephon Diggs, the new Houston Texan. He is wearing number one. It's not him. They st they still have him in the um, in the on the Buffalo Bills. Of course, that just recently happened. This is relatively updated, by the way, but I guess not that recent. So that kind of sucks, but kind of checks out anyway. We do know he's a receiver now, though, and he's also 29. What number is Amari Cooper? What number is Amari Cooper? Is he number two? I think he's number two. I'm going to go Amari Cooper here. And let's ride with that. It's going to be Amari Cooper. Okay, we are on fire. I'll speed that one up too if you guys want to see between cuts. I'm not I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting there thinking. So if you want to see that, I'm not, I'm not cheating. <laughs> that would kind of be ruining this entire concept and video idea as a whole. You feel me? I, I, want to, I want to showcase the bar knowledge. You feel me? And also just simply guessing the players is really fun to me. Honestly, I really do enjoy doing it. And now we just low-key have maybe the best receiver duo in the league. And another spike in points per game up to a solid two overall. Now that graph is skyrocketing. Kyler went from zero touchdowns to two touchdowns last season now to four. Oh, I'm on roll. Even got some carries. I don't hate it. As he actually came away with every single touchdown thrown this season. 816 yards two for him. Amari Cooper though, the new addition, definitely helped free up Amon Raw, of course. 45 catches, 569 yards. But let's be honest with ourselves. We still got a long way to go. We have a ton of positions to fill out. We need to get lucky as these wheel videos or I keep calling them wheel videos. These challenge videos tend to be, let's go. I don't have anybody in mind. Justin Herbert from the Chargers. If I could type... Let's go him now. We know he's in the AFC. We know he's on offense. We know he's about 27, 28. So maybe who's number like, I think Ridley, maybe we can go. Ridley's not a bad shout, you know. Let's go Ridley, who is now, of course, on the Titans, I believe, with uh, DeAndre Hopkins. That was a great guess. I was low. He's number zero. He's number zero. I still thought he was number 18 for some reason. Okay, that wasn't great. He's also 28 years old, it looks like. But since this guy's going to be like 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think of a tight end. Let's go, let's go Hunter Henry from the, can I spell, I spell, I spell like Henry there. Um, Hunter Henry from the Patriots. He is in the AFC East. He is not a tight end though. It's going to be a lineman it looks like because this player is a little bit bigger. I'm going to go with my guy Zaya Wynn, our left guard of the Dolphins. <laughs> yeah, let me cook. Let me freaking cook, bro. And I mean, come on now. If you gave me a Dolphins player, you know I'm guessing him in an instant. Look at this team now, though. The protection in the interior is great. The weapons are phenomenal with Amari and Amon. Fullback, we even got Christian Wilkins. All I'm saying is if we throw a little Mahomes in here, we may be a playoff team. Until we go check out the defense. <laughs> okay, zero wins again. But how do we add Isaiah win and get one full less point per game? <laughs> Kaiser White was locked in today against the Seahawks. Were we were we watching the same game? <laughs> Low-key, maybe I'm cheating a little bit here, but I'm going to say my guess now as we're five spins. I'm going to say we get it in like 
let's do 40 46 players 46 guesses whatever i'm calling it. i'm gonna i might just say spins honestly that's the only thing i can even think of let's go cd lamb now for number six i believe or seven we do know he's gonna be on offense a little bit taller than 6'2 and in the nfc and what we could do here is just knock off some divisions some teams of course some positions as well let's go with trent Williams I don't know it's really small for me to see um NFC West we down no he's not a tackle a little bit shorter than 6'5 a little bit younger than 35 that's quite old and also under number 71 this looks like an interior line okay, I'm not sure how old this guy is but I just do know he's on the Cardinals so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with him he's the right guard it's not gonna be guard it was not it was not him at all but we know he's not on the Cardinals now so it's Seahawks or Rams this all could be bad I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of stumped already my problem is I really don't know the Seahawks or the Rams interior offensive lineman, I'll be honest. Actually, it's not guard, though. Huh? huh? Um, maybe, like, Tyler Higby? No, I was really happy with that. I guess not a tight end either. What is this? It's gonna be center, isn't it? I don't know their centers, dude. I'll be honest with you. I'm just gonna guess Linderbaum to see if it's center. It's not. What What the hell? What am I missing? Running back? But what running back is 6'3", 6'4"? Um, what? <laughs> Wait, it's quarterback. Am I stupid? Oh my god, I haven't thought of quarterback. Um, he's not on the Rams. It's gonna be Gino. It's gonna be Gino. It's gonna be Gino. It's Gino. Okay, my, I don't know. I kind of had a brain fart there, but um, we got it at the end. Okay, <laughs> bro, I was genuinely so lost there. I was dead ass thinking of freaking fullbacks. <laughs> like, imagine I had to guess Chris Stoll. I'd be finished. And look, I'm not saying we're gonna win our first game right now, but um. I wouldn't be surprised if we did. Dude, our offense is already up to a 47 overall. That's quite crazy. Don't don't worry about the defense, though. <laughs> Yo, Christian, hold it down, my man. Hold it down. Week 18, Geno Smith did the best he could. 2,700 yards, 10 touchdowns, which is nice. Um, 29 interceptions, of course. The tackles are not there. The run game is not there. And the ball... He's got to do a lot of comeback because of that defense. Playing from behind, you know what I mean? He was decent on the ground, though. 3.9 to carry. The receivers did well, too, with Amon Ra over 1,100 yards. Amari Cooper, decent, too. Those are the only weapons we really got, though, let's be honest. Christian, how you doing over here? He's looking. He's holding his own. I ain't gonna lie. 87 tackles, 17 TFLs, 4.5 a, a carry. That's uh, This is um also with him being quadruple teamed sextuple teamed whatever it may be. And um, he's doing his thing. We need to give him some freaking help, though. And who better than Fred warner nope it's not gonna be it's not defense again not in the nfc we do know he's about 28 29 years old let me let me get my bag real quick mm, i mean there's not much to work with i don't know what i'm expecting <laughs> maybe we go chubb i feel like chubb's 27 he's probably 28 though he is 28 he is also 511 it's older than 28 so it's 29 years old it looks like in the afc of course we knew 511 not oh no Oh no, it doesn't look like it's on offense or defense. It's gonna be a kicker. AFC kicker, let's go with Jason Sanders to start things off. It is a kicker, not in the east as well. Okay, let's go AFC north, let's go... Justin Tucker, I guess, I don't know. Not Justin Tucker, so it's gonna be in the AFC south, it looks like. So Texans, Jags, Titans, and um, the Colts, of course. He's gonna be around 30 years old 29 years old fairbairn i think fairbairn's around there right 30 years old okay it's still not him it's also what division is this south north i already did the north it's the freaking west okay daniel carlson then let's go daniel carlson right away right now let's just ace this one out right away i think i can name everybody in the in the afc west okay so not the raiders the broncos oh god the bills game remember he missed that kick Oh, God. Um, let's go with Butker first, though, from the Chiefs, of course. It's not him either. You've got to be kidding me. Dicker, the freaking kicker. What's his name, dude? On the Broncos, what is his name? God, look at this list. Hello? How many guesses do I have? Two left? Oh, crap. Oh, what is his name? The worst part is he could have moved. I don't know. I don't know kicker transactions in the offseason, to be honest with you. Let me just see if he's on the Broncos. Let's do Sertan just to make sure. I mean, dude, what am I saying? Of course he's on the Broncos. Oh, my God. Who is their kicker? Dude, I honestly have no clue. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to forfeit a player already. We have some great players. I ain't even going to lie, right? There's not really a bad one for them to take away. So it would it would hurt. I ain't. Mm. Is it Will Lutz? Mm. Is it Will Lutz? It might be Will Lutz. It might be Will Lutz. I remember he moved from the Saints. Oh my God. Oh my God. We just aced that one. I cannot believe I remember that. Holy crap. This streak goes on. We're currently at eight. I just got Will Lutz at the literal 
Last two picks, last two spins. What am I saying? The last two guesses. <laughs> and Christ, that one was freaking scary. Well, let's still get on the team. And all I'm saying is I was deep in my bag like the fries at the bottom. Still zero wins with eight players in now. However, the offense points per game skyrockets once again, up to six a game. Well, Lutz, 13 for 15, nine for nine extra points. That is exactly what we needed. <laughs> and okay, that last one was tough. It almost got me. It really did. I think I'm only going to go to 10 here and then we'll um, continue this another day. AFC East, also wearing number five. I should be able to get this damn near right away. We know he's on offense as well. Okay, who's number five though? He's over 6'1". He's older than 29. It's gotta be a quarterback, right? Am I just blanking on an easy one here? Rogers is number eight, of course. Cause no, no lineman is gonna be number five, you know. Tight end, maybe. So it's kind of stumping me. I'm gonna put Brissett just to see if I don't know what number freaking Jacoby Brissett is. He's number twelve on New England. It's a little crazy. We don't know. We do know he's six four though, and it's a kicker again or a punter. Oh, I might be finished. I might be finished. <laughs> Okay, well, I do know the Bills, though, because I not only got Punter in my last wheel video, I also just rebuilt, I mean, I know Tyler Bass is there. Um, Sam Martin, Sam Martin, the Bills Punter. Okay, it's not on the Bills, sadly, which now means I might be in trouble. However, it's if it's on the Jets, I know the Jets because it's the former um, Miami Dolphins kicker in uh, Tom, Jesus Christ, in Thomas Morstead. If I could ever type, we would know. They even got his real face getting here. That's when you know you're a real baller. And not the most eventful, last two additions to say the very least, but let's be honest, these two will play a big role for our success later down the line. But of course, for now, obviously, it's not enough for our first win. For all my punt heads out there, here you go. 111 punts, 5,800 yards. He also had one block, 21. We do not care. Okay, and last one for today. Can we end it off on a perfect street? Let's go ahead and do Jonathan Allen. We could still use another defender alongside Mr. Christian Wilkins, and it's going to be right now because we now know he's on defense. We do know under 93, over 29 years old, a little bit older now. Mm. And I'm stumped. I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of anybody. <laughs> he's, he's way older too, way older than 29. So I'm probably leaning edge, maybe linebacker too. I guess we can go like... Let's go Levante David. Why not? That's an older linebacker in the um, in the NFC. We know he's in the South. And I'm not even going to look at anything else. I'm going to go with Demario Davis right after. Bang. Bang. 10 for 10 to start things off. Demario Davis, an incredible addition to our defense. And to our two overall defense, mind you, he's going to make a big impact. He's also the highest rated player on the Saints roster at a 92. And 10 guesses later, I would say Weddle is most certainly blessing us so far with some great talent. But sadly, even after all that, we still remain at 0 and 17. Guess who's back? Better than ever. Ready to conquer this Weddle challenge, of course, as we ended off on a 10 current streak there. 10 for 10. Let's get things rolling. Let's keep the momentum going. And let's start off with AJ freaking Brown. So we know he's in the NFC. We know he's on defense. Maybe could be special teams. Hopefully not, though. 6'1 and 25 to 24 years old. I'm going to go. So I'm going to go with my guy, Jalen Phillips from the Dolphins. Of course, we know he's 24. We know he's under 6'5 and we know he's on defense. That's a good thing. We need more defenders. Remember, it's just Wilkins and Davis. Wait. He's in the NFC, you idiot. Maybe, like, I'm thinking, like, on the defensive line specifically, maybe, like, Ali McNeil will just give him a go. Um, we know he's around, he's probably 6'3", right? Yeah, he is 6'3", still not a defensive tackle, though, and not in the north as well. Basically means he's probably just going to be in the 90s. I'm going to go with Kobe Turner, the uh, outstanding rookie on the Rams there. He is on the Rams. He's also a defensive tackle, you idiot. Okay, who is this, then? He's 24. He's young. So could that be a Byron Young, of course? This one? Nope, he's a linebacker, of course. What am I doing? Who is this? I would really like to know the position. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put in Nick Bosa just to see if it's an edge, and it is defensive end. Oh, God. Who even is on this team? Besides Byron Young. Not going to lie, I am heavily blanking right now. We also know he's number 94 through 96 as well. Yo, am I actually about to miss the very first one today? Dude, I, I genuinely have no clue. I'm finished. Honestly, I have no clue who this is. The defensive end, a young defensive end. He's only 24 years old. I, I don't know. I, I I actually, I give up. I don't know who this is. I'll be honest with you. I will fold. Who? I mean, come on, man. That's how we're going to start off today. That's how we're going to start off today. What's his name? De Dejuan Johnson. Where even is he? I don't even know. He's right here. He's a sick. Weddle. I see how it is. I see how it freaking is. And because we just took our first L, we got to spin the wheel and whoever it lands on, we got to release. I've been adding everybody that we've gotten so far on here, so... Let's go ahead and spin it, and hopefully it's more stead or will Lutz, please. And it's Amon Ross St. Brown. 
It's a Monro Saint Brown. Our highest overall player, just pain. A whole lot of pain. We had to release a Monro because I couldn't guess 61 overall to Juan Johnson here. Be right back. I'm gonna go cry to sleep. And actually, I didn't really take this into account. I didn't get him, so I didn't put him onto the team. I'm gonna mark it down as spin number 11, though, I guess, but I didn't add him. He wouldn't have done anything anyway, I promise you that. If you successfully guessed the Juan Johnson, I'll give you a cookie. And obviously, getting rid of a Monro Saint Brown did not make us any better. As we go back to this stupid game, not a good start not how we wanted to start things off i'm gonna go ahead and guess charveris ward start things off it is on defense it is in the nfc he is around 26 25 and 6263 we got a lot um, knocked out here i'm gonna try let's try sexy dexty from the giants it's not on the east as well he's gonna be 63 it looks like and 25 years old my next one my next guest let's go with tremaine edmonds from the nfc north of course we do know he's a linebacker we now know he's in the nfc south and he's 25 years of age what was this pete werner that would be a little crazy. Isn't he in the number 20s? Is this Pete Werner? No, it's not. He is number 20, though. It was close. It is in the south, of course. We knew pretty much everything here, though. We also know he's between number 7 and number 20, which is quite odd for a linebacker, so I should be able to get this. I'm not sure what number tr Joe Tryon is, but I'm going to guess him. He's number 9. Um, He's also not in the Bucks, so it's the Panthers or the Falcons. On the Panthers, I'm going to guess Kayla Von Chase on. I don't really know. Okay, it's on the freaking Falcons. I'll go with Caden Ellis. Does he even still play there? He does. Oh my god, I am in a pickle. No way I start 10 for 10 and miss the next two, right? I'll be honest with you, I have no idea who this is. What's his name? Does he play there? Lorenzo Carter. I know he I knew he was there for a little bit. He does, but he's doesn't match the age and everything else. I might surrender this. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm just not gonna get this. I don't want to sit here all day and try to think of it because Arnold Ebicati. Oh my god. That's so gettable. <laughs> That is so gettable. What a start today, though. Oh, and freaking two. Arnold and Katie, that's a bad miss. I'll take that one to the chin. And back to the freaking wheel again. We got to release somebody because my bond knowledge is lacking on this day. Yesterday was elite. Today, not so much as we're going to have to release one of the Browns here. And there goes both of our receivers. Once upon a time, we arguably had the best wide receiver tandem in the league, and now they're both gone. Amari, it was nice knowing you, but I'm sorry for being a little slow in the head. Oh, this is a wild start, bro. Arnold WKD was such a bad miss, too, bro. And the zero win streak is going to go on for a little bit longer now that I missed out on two freaking guesses. Dude, yesterday, I felt like 2016 Steph Curry, 2024 Caitlin Clark. Now I'm Ben Simmons. Desmond Ritter. This is crazy. What has happened to me? I don't know. Let's start off with the best wide receiver in the league, arguably. It is not Justin Jefferson. It is also not on offense. However, it is young. It's going to be a rookie or a guy in his second season. Also, much taller than 6'1". That's a big hint. Not going to lie, though. I'm getting real sick of these big defensive linemen that I cannot guess. Okay, that's great, though. Defensive end, 6'4". We know he's 22 years old as well. Shout out to Carl Loftus. Ooh. No, he's not 22. 22 is very young. Maybe Steelers. Who's that dude? Keanu Benton, I believe. They're defensive tackle. No, it's a defensive end, though. Ooh, he might be a little younger. I'm going to go Will Anderson Jr., and it is Will Anderson Jr. We're back on track. Let's heat up again. Will Anderson Jr. is a massive, massive addition. And man, does that feel good to add in a Will Anderson Jr. Because once the floodgates open, let's get rolling. Will Anderson, thank you for changing my life. That also means that we could have had Arnold Ebkady and Will Anderson. That's a nice young pass rush duo as well, man. Damn it. Not today. Don't take anything in life for granted, ladies and gents. You don't realize what you have until it's gone. Although we do got a shiny new toy in Will Anderson. Six sacks, 11 TFL is not too shabby. And okay, Mr. Weddle, more of that, please. More players of that cat. Caliber Tyreek Hill. It is going to be on offense. He is around 29 years old as well. Why am I kind of feeling a quarterback? Patty? Should I go Patty? Why not? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. It is not quarterback. He is 28 years old, though. Ooh, also way over 6'2". It's going to be a lineman. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with another um, guard from the Cleveland Browns. Of course, we already have Wyatt Teller. Joe Batoni was 32. I don't know why I thought he was younger than that. Well, what we do know now is that it's going to be either center or tackle, and it's going to be in the AFC South. Hmm, how old is Lurie Tunsil? I'm not too sure. He's got to be around 28. He's 29. We know he's in the South, but we know he's not on the Texans now. It is a tackle, though, so we should be able to get this. Maybe a little a little Brandon Smith action on the, um, on the Colts, of course. There are a lot of Brandons, of course. And I chose the wrong one. It's Braden Smith, you idiot. It's Braden Smith. Okay, it's still not him. All right, so it's Colts or Jaguars. Let's go Cam Robinson, their left tackle. It is Cam Robinson in our O-line. Low-key nice. Because we now have four out of five spots here all filled out to protect, of course, our franchise QB and Geno Smith. 
If only he had people to pass to. But the O-line being good is still certainly not enough. Hold up, James Worthy is in this draft class? I'll take a freaking James Worthy. <laughs> and hello once again, Weddle. We are on uh, good terms now after back-to-back -back pretty solid um, guesses myself. A NFC offense, 6465. Higher number than 11, older than 24. I'm gonna go Josh Allen. Let's just try it out. It is not Josh Allen. It's also in the NFC. It's looking like another lineman, though. Let's go with Trent Williams again. I mean, it's a good guy because he's way older than 27. It is on San Fran. It is not a tackle, however, but it is on San Fran. I'm not going to lie. Interior O-line, I might be a little finished. I do know they have Feliciano, John Feliciano. It is not a guard either. I, I'm not going to lie. I couldn't tell you who their center is, and it's looking like their center. Is it center? Please tell me it's not. I'm finished. I'm finished. What is with these? Oh my god. I'm literally about to scroll through every single player until one looks right. Huh? <laughs> if you know, then you know. Yeah, who am I kidding? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Jack, Jake Brendel. I don't know who that is, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> Goodness me, man. Like the Arnold Epicady one, I'll take that one. That one hurt, but like Jake Brendel, I mean, I guess he's a 75, but honestly, I didn't even know. <laughs> this dude was on Miami? Oh, God. Oh, oh man, trouble. you're casual. And here comes the Wheel of Death again. My ball knowledge is severely lacking today. Please get rid of the punter or the kicker. I am begging. I am begging. Why tell her? Honestly, I'm okay with an offensive lineman because we are kind of stacked there already, although it's a great one. It's fine. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. As I am just gutting our team one by one. First, it was Amon Raw, and then it was our second best player in Amari Cooper. And now, White Teller, our third current um, highest overall in 86, is now gone as well. And with our third player gone in the last five guesses, so is my reason to live. Like, this is just brutal right now. Can we stop with these trenches and these random players? Give me some skill positions. Let me cook a little bit. Let me have some fun. Okay. That's a great start. It is on offense. Please do not be a center or something, man. I swear. Second guess, let's go with Colton Miller, left tackle of the Raiders. <laughs> we are back, baby. And oddly enough, isn't this the exact tackle pairing that I had in my last wheel video? <laughs> so close, not really yet so far. <laughs> As well, I'm gonna need you to start blessing me real soon like you did yesterday. Where was all the love over there? Sauce Gardner, first pick. It's gonna be AFC. It's gonna be number two or number three. That's huge. I might be able to get this one right now. <laughs> Hold up, let me, let me cook. Two number three AFC offense. Imagine it's Amari Cooper again. It could be, honestly. I, however, am going to go for Russell Wilson, new Steelers quarterback, of course, number three. We know he's lower or younger than 35 now, but he is around six foot. Oh, wait, we also know he's number two now. Okay, that's big. And he's on offense. I should be able to get this. Hmm, I'm kind of struggling right now. I'm going to try to find out at least what division he's in. Zay Jones. Okay, we know he's in the South. We know he's a receiver on the Texans, Colts, or Titans. Think I may have got it. Is Robert Woods number two? I think Robert Woods is number two on the Texans, of course. Bobby Trees, we once had him on Raw and Amari Cooper, of course. Robert Woods would do for just now. As it seems like the Texans released him, actually, which is very disrespectful. There's some other good receivers here, too, for whatever reason. <laughs> As Bobby Trees was still not the guy to do it. But you know who will be, though? How about the new eagle in Saquon Bark? That's crazy. How do I not get anything? <laughs> Let's go with Quinnen Williams on the New York Jets. 6'3", we know. 25, 24 years old and is on defense. Mm, let's go with Patrick Queen, the new Pittsburgh Steeler, of course. We do know he's 24 now, but he is 6'3". Maybe Jalen Phillips? I feel like Jalen Phillips um, checks out for this one. I'm not sure if he's 6'3", but we'll guess it anyway. He's 6'5". He's a little bit bigger, but we now know it's once again in the AFC South. He's also a linebacker. You dumbass. Ooh, okay, I got a good guess. Um, Same draft class as um Jalen Phillips went a little bit after him. Could he pay? It is not could he pay, but it is on the Colts. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate these, dude. 6'3", it's not DN or D-tackle or linebacker, huh? What? Is Julian Brents, like, tall as hell? He is. He's six. Okay, that was a that was a guess in the dark. I ain't even gonna lie. I did not realize he was 6'3", but you know what? We will take Juju Brents. And if you couldn't tell, I'm pretty proud of that one. Shout out to the Seahawks for drawing a game this year, you losers. As it is three in a row now, let's go to the Seahawks now, though, with K9, Kenneth Walker. <laughs> what the heck? And you know what? I'm going straight back to Quinn and Williams. It just checks out once again. Defensive tackle and number 95. I was gonna go Miles Garrett, but DT. Also, he's 6'6 six, six plus. Hello? I'm thinking... I'm thinking DeForest Buckner, I know DeForest Buckner is tall as hell. I think he might be... Not, I don't know if he's number 95. I'll check it out, though. He's number 99. I did know that. 6'6", six, 6'5", six, six, not in the south now, though. Chris Jones. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is Chris Jones. This is Chris Jones. He's number 95. I know that for a fact. Chris Jones, get on the team. My reaction to finally getting ourselves a superstar on this second recording session. And I mean, come on now. 
Come on now, Chris Jones, Christian Wilkins, Will Anderson, Demario Davis, Juju Brent out at CB1 as well. The defense is coming along. And, and Chris Jones still gets us. But all three of our guys at monster seasons. Chris Jones, 15 TFLs, 12 sacks for him, led the way for our team. 19 TFLs for Christian Wilkins, 20 for Will Anderson. I ain't gonna lie. If we start a full team with all the players that I got and wasn't a casual, we may be in our first win right now. How is this happening every time? <laughs> Why do I? Is this the fourth Buckner? This checks out 6'5. He's 6'7. Remember, he's number 99. This might be freaking the fourth Buckner. Why are our D tackles. Kind of freaking crazy. <laughs> no, did I never change it? Oh my god, I don't think I ever changed it. Okay, I went. Deontay Johnson got nothing. Cam Hayward, then we got Defoe. As we move Christian Wilkins out to right end now, this defensive line is probably the best in the league, I'd say. As we're now up to 43 flat on every single category. Loki, that D line could be good enough to get us win number one. Still 0-17. The defense still isn't great on paper. But damn it, did they do their freaking best. Look at some of these numbers, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, that is a lot of defense in a row, though. Let's get a skill position player. How about in Jam Why? Jamar Chase is who I'm looking for. It's another defender. In the NFC above 24, you know what? Let's go with my boy, Fred Warner. Nope, but we got everything pretty close now, above 54 number. This might be like another defensive lineman. I don't know. I'm going to go Jonathan Allen just to test it out. It's not three defensive tackles in a row. Are you kidding me? We can try out da da David Onyemata on the Falcons. It is not him, which means it'll be the boy Harrison Phillips, if I could type his name. Nope, that would, that would look nice. I don't know if Kenny Clark would be listed at defensive tackle. I think he's number 97. Hold up. This might be actually, actually be Kenny Clark. Bang. Nope, he is number nine. How is that possible? <laughs> Ooh, didn't the, the Lions just sign DJ Reader, didn't they? No? Huh? DJ... Wait, what? Is that not his name? <laughs> am, I, am I bugging? All right, let's see. Is he on the Bears or the Lions? It's going to be the Bears. It's the old defensive tackle on the Bears. What is his name? Thing is, I so know this because I just recently did a rebuild on him. I remember they had Justin Jones. Jervon Dexter, of course, was great as a rookie. It's I got it. I got it. It's, um, what's his name? Billings. Andrew Billings, right? Bang. Let's go. Current streak of six, baby. I'll be honest, though. I'm getting real sick of these defensive tackles. <laughs> 21 guesses in, and it's still zero wins over here. And man, this is like the wheel video all over again. Just a rough start. Where is Brian Burns? Why are some people just not on here? Wait, what? <laughs> hey, whatever. Let's go Brian O'Neill, I guess. It is on offense in the AFC. Let's try out my boy J-Dub. Wide receiver we know now, and he's going to be 24, 23. Taller than 5'10", under... um. Under number 17, let's go George Pickens, who we know is 6'3", of course. It is not the AFC North, however. We do know his number now. It's going to be 13 or 12. That's big. And he's 24 years old. Nico Collins? I think Nico Collins is number 12, right? Nico Collins on the Houston 10. Really? Okay, we did get the division now. It's number 13. Number 13 on the Jags is Christian Kirk. He doesn't fit this, so it's going to be Titans or Colts. Alec Pierce? I guess Alec Pierce, I'm pretty sure he's number 13. I weirdly know that. Nope, he's number 14, and it's wrong again. Traylon Burks, then? Is he number 13? I actually don't really have a clue. He's number 16. What am I missing here? It's Okay, it's on, it is on the Jaguars, huh? Wait, what? <laughs> I could have sworn Christian Kirk was number 13. Was he not? Wait, am I bugging or what? How did I just get the exact team, the exact position in the same number? What does that mean? <laughs> what? Wait, what does that mean? Am I am I just stupid right now? I mean, I got it. Did I not? Okay. Okay. I, <laughs> I yes, I should have got that. But they kind of screwed me at the same time. Because Christian Kirk is number 13, bro. Gabe Davis, number 13. But he's he can't, though. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not counting that. That is BS. I should have got Gabe Davis. Not going to lie. But we got the team and the numbers. I was just throwing off. That was, I don't know. That was. I'm not counting that one. I'm not freaking counting that one. Let's go. CJ Stroud. AFC offense, 6'4", 6 6'5". 6 Teron Armstead, not him either. Not tackle either. Let's go maybe Ronnie Stanley. AFC North, it's not a tackle. Um, I'm just going to go to the teams here. Sai, oh, how do you spell his name? Sai Malo, Isaac Samalo on um, Pittsburgh. Not him either. Not a guard, it's a center. It's a freaking center. Is it a center? Let me just make sure. Oh my god, I'm so sick of centers, man. I suck with centers, I'm not gonna lie. Whatever, is it on Cincinnati? It is. Honestly, I don't know. I think center is genuinely my worst knowledgeable position. Billy Price? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bobby Price? Wait, where's Billy Price? Wasn't he on this team? Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. I give up. It's Ted Karras. I did know that. Thing was, I didn't know it was a former Dolphin Center. I could not remember his name, though, for the life of me. Back to the Wheel of Death we go. Please don't be anybody crazy that we just got. Oh, my God. Yes. 
yes, Andrew Billings can leave. I do not care. Andrew Billings, thank you. Come again. Look, I guess that's what I get anyway from missing the Gabe Davis one, but you and I both know that was some cheese, all right? <laughs> Once again, same old story. As here we are on number 23 now, still yet to get anything close to a win, it seems like, as we start with Kyle Pitts, offense and NFC. Shorter than 6'6 six, six as well, so they should be a skill position, hopefully. Ooh, under number eight, that's big. Under number eight, I think Debo just went to um number one, if I'm not mistaken. Let's try him out here. Wide receiver and number one is older than 28, 29, and 30, though. Hmm, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit stumped for some reason on this one. The East, like, I'm pretty sure Jahan's number one, Jalen Hurts is number one. I'm gonna go, is it Paris Campbell? Is he number one? Paris Campbell? He's number zero, and it's in the NFC East, though. Okay, this has to be the, um, the Cowboys, then. Wait, is it Brandon Cooks? Brandon Cooks might be number one. I don't even know. Brandon Cooks? He's number three. It's not on Dallas. What? I thought Jahan Dotson was number one over here. Is it going to cheese me again? No, okay. It's on the freaking Eagles. Is Jalen Hurts not number one? Jalen Hurts. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, I do think I know who this is, though. Devontae Parker, who they just signed. Bro. They need to stop doing this. I swear, that is some cheese, bro. <laughs> but you know, the thing is, at least I know that can happen now. Devontae Parker, get on the team. But whatever, he's here now. We have him, Bobby Trees, Gino. It, it could be worse, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it was literally just a zero overall Zach Pascal, so. Oh, and 17, yes. The offense, though, above a 50 overall now. So it's something. It at least is something. And right now, I'm taking just about anything. Offense, AFC, above number 23, pretty much means it's going to be a lineman. Although, let's test it out with Travis Kelsey first off. KC. 65. Dang. But okay, though, we'll go ahead and rock Joe Tooney. It is Joe Tooney. Okay, a huge addition at guard. And to be honest with you, this is honestly like a B tier offensive line, maybe even A tier. It's not bad at all. Even with that offensive line, though, the weapons are still not enough. So it'd be nice if you would give me somebody just like DJ Moore. Nothing crazy. Not on offense. We get a defensive player, though, in the NFC. Should be a corner under six foot, maybe safety as well. Hmm, way younger than 24, too. So this should be like a first or second year player. I'm going to go with Deontay Banks. I don't know. Let's just try it out. It is a corner, though, and he's going to be 22. This is a rookie. Then. Ooh, tell me it's Witherspoon. Tell me it's Devon Witherspoon. Nah, that would have been awesome. I'm honestly not too sure. I'm just going to try to get some teams out the way. It is not the Saints. Buccaneers. Nope, this dude's on San Fran. Am I drunk? Buccaneers. Nope. If it's Panthers, honestly, I could be in trouble. Okay, it's, of course. <laughs> What's his name? Clark Phillips the third. Oh, yo, that was kind of nice. <laughs> As we know of two young stud rookie cornerbacks, 25 guesses later, is this the one to get us win one defensive pass starts per game? Look at that, though, up to number 12. Ooh, and low-key, Gino wasn't terrible, you know? Bobby Trees with six touchdowns, 1,200 yards defensively. And is Arizona Cardinals defense kind of like that? Because 29 TFLs, 26 for Will Anderson is kind of crazy. Triple digit, or not triple digit, double digit sacks for three players as well. It's kind of nuts. Kind of nuts, honestly. And okay, we're starting to roll a little bit again. We're not getting crazy players, but we're getting players in positions of need, which is good, of course. AFC offense. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Travis Kelsey again. He did me well last time. And look at this. It's a tight end. It's 6'5. He's number 88 or 89. Ooh, in the south. Dalton Schultz, maybe? I think Dalton Schultz is number 89. It's number 86, you dummy. Oh, but we now know that it's in the AFC North. Is this David? Njoku, nope, he's number 85. Do I not know numbers anymore? Um, Fryermuth is the Steelers. Mark Andrews is not that old, I don't believe. What's the other team? <laughs> Bengals, Kaziki. I think Kaziki's number 88, isn't he? I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. He is 88, but it's not Cincinnati. I'm going to put in Mark Andrews. Maybe he is that old and I'm just tweaking. He is 28. Hold up, though. We just got Mark Andrews, arguably a top three tight end in the league. I was going to say arguably top two, but I think three is pretty safe. And look at this. I said we needed better weapons, and it doesn't get much better than Mark Andrews. And like, surely, surely spin 26 after Mark Andrews. This is the year for win one. Come on, Mark Andrews. I think our highest overall... No, we have Chris Jones, but he's close. But it's still not enough. However, things are looking up. We still desperately need a run game. And okay, of course, it was Devontae Parker that led the way, but Mark Andrews... Made an impact, I guess. <laughs> Dude, this D-line is just having the time of their lives, aren't they? <laughs> and okay, getting Mark Andrews is incredible. Now let's get ourselves a little run game with Kyron Williams. It is on offense and in the NFC. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Mike Evans here. 
Wide receiver, of course. He is 6'4", 6'3". Not a receiver, though. Oh, it's also over 23. Nice. I'm going to go with a random ass guess here. Cam Jorgens. <laughs> NFC East. Not a center. NFC East is good. Let's go Andrew Wiley. I don't know. It is on Washington. It is a guard. Okay, I don't think... I don't think Sam Cosme is that old, right? Yeah, it's not him. I think they just signed... Um, Oh, that dude with the long name that was on the Chiefs. Allegretti? Allegretti? <laughs> That's some bonus right there. Come on now. Although, I can't lie. This guy's not going to do much for our team, is he? <laughs> or is he? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for Cody Mock V2. What overall is Allegretti yet? Running back. <laughs> Whatever. Honestly, I'm starting him anyway, baby. Let's rock. Nick Allegretti, RB1 season. Damn. Um... Oh, <laughs> look, I don't really know what I was expecting, but Cody Mock wasn't that bad, was he? Pat Sertan, AFC offense once again here over 6-2, though. Let's go. Let's go Aaron Rodgers. Why not? Number eight. Ooh, ooh. Okay, you know what sucks? I was going to go Josh Allen, but I switched it up because I think I did Um, somebody on the... Is it Jacoby Brissett? Oh, come on. Ladies and gents, it's Jacoby Brissett RB1 season, as he is going to be a 43 Hey, that's not bad. I mean, it's bad, but on our team, it's kind of good. <laughs> Still no W. Defensive pass yards per game up to seven. Cool. Brissett had a solid 160 for 338. Now into 29, though, and it is still no luck. Of course, we've lost a few great players as well, which certainly didn't help as it is going to be NFC offense, it seems. Go Dak. I don't know. We'll just start it off there. 6-2 we get, and he's going to be number three or number two. It's also... God, uh, this could be bad. This could be bad. Trenton Gill, it's a punter in the NFC North. Oh, God. Jack Fox, is he, is he still on the Lions? I'll take it, man. Not gonna lie, I kind of am on fire again. Seven in a row, you know. I am making Jack Fox a linebacker, and you can't tell me no. 13 overall. Nice. And this is gonna go a lot longer than I thought. I don't know, in my head, I just thought Weddle was nice. They would be like, oh, a lot of people are playing. Let's give him some easy one. Let's give him Justin Jefferson and Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson. But no. No, 24 years old on defense. Let's try out like Martin Emerson on the Browns. It is AFC. Are we are we gonna go back to the um AFC South? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, Jalen Petrie. What a freaking guess. I like the Texans. They've been kind of blessing us. Dude, I honestly feel like our team isn't terrible, you know what I mean? But it's still zero wins. But like we have a quarterback, we have an offensive line, we have a few weapons. The defense is pretty good itself, too. Surprising to not get anything yet. Ooh, what a start here. Number five in the NFC East on offense. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a kicker or something, isn't it? Is it a special teamer? I kind of think Jake Elliott's number five for some reason. Okay, yeah, it is a punter though. I'm finished, dude. Man, we were doing so good too. So it's the Dallas punter who is the dallas punter there's just no shot there's literally no shot i get this yeah i don't know i'm out of punters i'm out of punters guess i'm not gonna guess the dallas cowboys punter brian anger man he has been around for some time just kind of brain farted i can't lie it has been a while though since we've been back here have still been adding everybody the next person to go on the wheel of death after not being able to guess brian anger is going to be <laughs> That's fine with me, man. <laughs> no Will Lutz, no party. As there goes our wonderful eight kill streak. Puka Nakua up next. We know he's 6'2. And 6'2 in the AFC means Jalen Ramsey, who is 6'1. Nice. Wait, is it? Bro. What is going on in the last few spins, bro? Jack Fox, Byron Anger, and now what? Nick freaking Folk? Oh my god. I guess we need a kicker now, to be fair. <laughs> um, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, come on. Who's in Chris Boswell? Sure, get on the team, Chris. A big fat no. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I thought this would be better than Wheel. It might be worse. It might be freaking worse. 33 in now, and I still haven't got a W. We will go Marlon Humphrey up next. AFC North defense and 27 years old. 27. 27. 27 years old is for some reason throwing me off so much. Ooh, ooh Minka. Maybe a Minka. Minka Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Yo, that was kind of a sick guess and an even sicker player. And I just realized I never made Jalen Petrie back to a free safety. And I'm not gonna lie, right? This defense, like, look at this. This should be good enough to get us at least one win, you know? And it's not like we have a zero overall quarterback. We have Geno Smith. We have weapons, including Mark Andrews and an entire offensive line. How have we not gotten one yet? Surely number 33 is it. And at this point, it feels like I'm treating this video like it's gonna end when I get my first win. No, I have to win a Super Bowl. <laughs> Come on, if any player, it's a player of Minka's caliber, right? 
wow, this is crazy. I mean, like, are we at least competitive a little bit? 1448, 728, 724s kind of close. 10 to 24, we gotta scrape away with one soon. But like, Widow, could you please give me a running back? I feel like we really need a running back. That would be really nice. Nope, not today. I'm gonna try Jesse Bates, even though I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be him. It's not... My god. I mean, how many times are we gonna get kicker and punter and still haven't gotten any running backs? It's the Giants punter like Gillian, something like that. Blake Gillian? Gilligan? No. It's the Eagles punter. Is his name like Man? Braden Man, I think his name is. Braden Man. Ugh. So on three out of the last six spins, we have gotten three punters in Jack Fox, Byron Anger, and now freaking Braden Man, dude. What is going on? Braden Man. Oh no, no. We are a 70 overall now. This is not a bad squad. I mean, we are a bad squad, but relative to what we were in the past, it's really not terrible. You feel me? Okay, offense, 26 years old. Looks like a lineman. Actually, no. Under number 22, this could be a quarterback or receiver. It could be a lot of things. <laughs> Above 6'1", 26 years old. Is Jalen Hurts 26? I don't know. He's 25. It is a quarterback, though. Please don't be another Jacoby. Like, give me somebody good. 26 years old. This has to be somebody good, right? Has to be. Jordan Love? Is this Jordan Love? This might be Jordan Love. Jordan Love would be a huge addition to our team. No, it's not Jordan Love, but it's in the north. Is it Sam... Oh my god. This little stretch run right now is just horrific. <laughs> I'm making him a running back. I don't care. <laughs> As he's actually a 45 overall. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello. We just got two wins. I was <laughs> not expecting that. All right. That just put a little pep in my step again. That feels freaking good, right? It's been a long time. We beat the Texans 34-21. I think we've stolen three, four of their players and we beat the Bears 26-23. Was RB1 Sam Darnold just on demon time or something? 2.3 carry, two touchdowns. Not bad. 500 yards. Um, I did move Brandon Mann to right outside linebacker, by the way, and he had 13 tackle for loss. <laughs> and okay, I got some of my joy back. Not even gonna lie, I was losing a little bit of faith. You know, I was feeling down a little bit. Jonathan Taylor is our next player. It's not gonna be him, but it's offense in the AFC. A little younger than him. Let's go T. Higgins, 6'4". It's gonna be a lineman, it looks like. Also, that was very stupid. <laughs> Young lineman in the West. Let's go Rashawn Slater of the Chargers. He is 24 years old. It is not a tackle though, and it's gonna be in the East. Okay, my first guess, I'm gonna go Osiris. Torrance, how do you spell his name? Osiris Torrance, sure. That was a great guess. However, it is not the right team. Cole Strange, maybe, of the Patriots? Nope, not him either. Is that my guy Robert Jones? Nope, it's not on Miami. It's on the freaking Jets. Oh, hold up. Is it Elijah Vera Tucker? It is Elijah Vera Tucker. That is an upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. As he is an 81 overall, and honestly, at this point, I just want upgrades on the team, you know? Also, am I okay? Why did I guess Osiris Torrance, Cole Strange, and Robert Jones before AVT? <laughs> Yo, we're seeing improvements. Is our floor comfortably two wins now? Because if so, hey, things are looking freaking good. ETN is joining our team. Nope, it's going to be at least an offensive player, though, which is good. Is it another lineman, though? Let's start with Patrick Mahomes. It is not a quarterback. He is 29 to 30 years old. Looks like a lineman. Ron Armstead, I'll go once again. AFC East looks like another guard. No. Oh. And it looks like a Patriots offensive lineman. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know their other lineman. <laughs> what up, do they still have David Andrews at center? It is not David Andrews, it's the right guard. Who is the right guard? Although I suppose this could still be Hunter Henry. Oh, it is Hunter Henry. Okay, I thank God, because I don't know who their freaking right guard is. And with Hunter Henry now here, I'm actually going to move Mark Andrews out to wide receiver, where he is an 85 overall. Boys, we're on the up. Three wins this time around. The offense is up to an 83, 76 overall squad. But look at the weapons now. Mark Andrews over 1,000 yards, 918 for Robert Woods, Devontae Parker, and Hunter Henry both solid. And you know these monsters are still going crazy over here. Minka also with two interceptions, 133 tackles for Demario Davis. Dude, we have some star power, honestly. If we can just get like another linebacker, corner, and maybe, or and definitely a running back. I don't know how I haven't gotten a running back yet. You know, I don't even care. I'm not even gonna look. Nick Chubb, welcome to the team. Nope, not Nick Chubb. Please tell me he's not a lineman, dude. No, it's in the under number 24. This is good. Maybe we try, maybe we try Stroud. This could be Stroud. Okay, 6'3", it is a quarterback under number seven. Please tell me it's not Zach Wilson. Okay, it's not the East. It's gonna be the West then. Who the heck? Well, it's not Herbert or Mahomes, so it's kind of trash. Aiden O'Connell, is he that old already? 
Oh my god, I have gotten Aiden O'Connell, Sam Darnold, Jacoby Brissett, and Geno Smith. What am I watching, man? Like, I'm genuinely getting angry now. Give me a good quarterback. <laughs> and Aiden O'Connell gets us back down to two wins. What a guy. How have I genuinely not gotten, like, one elite quarterback? This is going to be guest number 39 now. Lamar Jackson, welcome to the team. Nope. Defense in the AFC. Let's go with Trent McDuffie on this next guest. AFC West corner. Okay, that's good. Asante Samuel Jr., maybe? Wow, okay. Jack Jones on the Raiders? Nope, it is on the Raiders, though, which is going to be Nate Hobbs, I'm guessing, then? Jesus. Okay, we'll take Nate Hobbs, though. That's not, that's not bad at all. Because he is comfortably now our CB1 in our DB room. Loki, kind of nice. Minka, Jalen Patriot, safety. Can I smell a four or maybe even five wins? Nope, but we're back to three wins. The team is almost up to an 80 overall. As we are also on a current streak of eight, we're kind of rolling right now. Kind of rolling right now. We've gotten some good players in the last few ones. We get another offensive player. Under 28 is good because it's not a lineman. I like that. Let's go with Matt Stafford. Why not try it out? Not quarterback and under 6'3". Also under number nine, okay. Mm, we could try out Debo here again. Number one, of course. Wide receiver. It's NFC West, man. But it is number two or number three. This should be quite easy. Ooh. Ooh, DJ Moore. DJ Moore. DJ Moore. DJ Moore. There's a banger right there. There is a player, a superstar right there. So now we have DJ Moore, Devontae Parker, Mark Andrews, Robert Woods, Hunter Henry. The offense is pretty much complete. Besides running back. And it's kind of the same story on defense. Everything is complete. Nate Hobbs makes our DB room looks much, much better. Linebacker is still a problem, though. How do we add DJ Moore and don't add any wins? Dude, I'm not going to lie. Our receiver room right now could be DJ Moore, Amari Cooper, Amon Raw with Mark Andrews at tight end. Yeah, just pain. It was pain everywhere. So we got to keep on pushing, pushing through and being resilient. Can we, however, match our highest streak so far of 10 um, guesses? Let's go legit. We sneed who's still on the Chiefs here annoyingly, but that's okay. We know it's offense AFC. And because it's over number 38, it's most likely going to be an offensive lineman. Rashawn Slater, we'll go back to him. It's younger than him, okay? Maybe I'll try out like Tyler Linderbaum here at center. It is a center, okay, but you guys know I kind of hate centers. Really young though, really young. 22 years old, it's got to be a rookie then. Juice Scruggs of the Texans? It is not. Wait, it's the East? Am I tripping or I can't, I can't think of anybody right now. It is the East. What the heck? Who is this? And it's going to be on the Jets, dude. I have no clue, man. I have no idea who this could honestly be. Not Connor McGovern. It's the it's like a backup, like day three pick, bro. I'm just gonna give up on it. Joe Titman. I do know Joe Titman, but I probably wasn't gonna hit that if, if I'm being honest. Which means we're back here. I'm also gonna shuffle it up. Just okay, never mind. Which means we're back here. We have every single player we have on our current team right now on this wheel. Just don't be somebody amazing, please. It's, <laughs> oh my God, it's DJ Moore, who I literally just got. We could legit have the best receiver core in the league right now, and I've had to release all of them. And okay, DJ Moore with DJ Moore, doesn't matter, three wins. As this one may be my last one for today, I'll be honest with you, I did not think it would take this long, but we <laughs> have been getting screwed. Because me over here is a casual and have lost a lot of really good players. What's his name? Austin Corbett. It's a guard. We do know it's a guard. Not in the South or the East, though. Maybe Kevin Dotson of the Rams. It is not him. 27 years old, we now know. And then he's also in the North. Maybe an Elton Jenkins. I'm not sure how old Elton Jenkins is. He's 28. It is in the North now, though. And go Nate Davis of the Bears. It is going to be Nate Davis. Okay. As we end up going 2-15, and 15, I am going one more. Because come on now. I don't want to end on Nate Davis. I want to end on somebody like AJ Brown. Nope. It's going to be offense. Is it another lineman, bro? I'm going to try out Trevor Lawrence. It is not quarterback. Under 6'6", six, six, uh, obviously. What am I doing? This looks like a lineman. Try out Broderick Jones of the Steelers. It is AFC North. Wait, could this be Tyler Linderbaum? I've had his name a few times. <laughs> Hey, we finally got him. As the new starting center gets us to four wins. Yeah, maybe one more though. I don't want to end on a lineman, dude. Give me an exciting player to end off that win so I can be happy going into this tomorrow. Okay, it is offense. It doesn't look like a lineman. I'm thinking tight end for this one. Looks to be a little taller too. 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, George Kittle would have been so nice. This is going to be a lineman, isn't it? Is this Kevin Dotson? Oh my God, what are we... Oh. I'm not ending on an offensive lineman. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> and honestly, that's the first time we've seen below two wins in a while. Please let me not get a lineman. I beg you. That's three linemen in a row, I think. It's not an offense. Okay, that's a start. Let's try maybe like a DJ Reed on the Jets. It is AFC East. Okay, that's good. It seems to be a lot older than 27, though, oddly. I wonder if they maybe have Jordan Poyer. I mean, it could be Buffalo or Miami here. 
and we get him. It's Jordan Poyer on the Dolphins, of course, the new addition. And okay, the addition of Jordan Poyer gets us our highest win total, 5 and 12, but... We'll pick this up another time. All right, and hopefully we can win a Super Bowl during this recording session now. It's been a while. I didn't. I honestly thought we were going to get blessed a little bit more than we have, but no QB. I mean, we have Gino got, got him very early on. We've got a few other bad ones as well, but I need a running back. I really need a running back. Um, Offense, AFC. Over 6-1, though, O-line. Let's go with, like, Creed Humphrey. I don't know. It is not in the AFC West, but it is 6-5 and 25 years old. Could still be a tight end. Maybe I'll throw in a little Pat Fryermuth in there. 25 years old and 6-6. Go with like Peter Skaronsky from the Titans. It is AFC South and it's gonna be a guard, I'm assuming. Try to get the team here. Let's go Kenyon Green on the Texans, of course. Why is it? Why can I not see it? <laughs> Bernhard Raymond up next. It is not on the Colts. Okay, it's gonna be the Jags. This is very annoying. What is this? Ezra Cleveland. I think the Jags re-signed him, right? It is Ezra Cleveland. What a way to start this one off. However, off screen, I have moved the team around a little bit. Alec Reddy's now at fullback if you care about that. Of course, the O-line is looking really, really nice now, to be honest with you. But defensively is where we made a lot of changes. Of course, we got Poyer, the last addition. Then we I moved Nate Davis and Jalen Petrie, the linebacker, to, I guess, fill that group out now. I, I mean, that's all I did. <laughs> but I mean, Jack Fox was literally our second sub linebacker last time around. So Jalen Petrie should be a big upgrade. And those changes get us to another 5-12 and 12 record. Not too shabby, up to an 82 overall now. Back over here we go, though. I would love to get Get one in one that would be just really really cool it's gonna be nfc offense it looks like above number 26 is not a good sign unless it is george kittle nope six four though we know these offensive linemen are killing me i'm not gonna lie not tackle is number 76 though <laughs> And also seems to be in the south. Let's go Austin Corbett. It is in the south. Is a guard. 6'4", 27 years of age. Ooh, hold up, hold up. Chris Lindstrom? Nah, Chris Lindstrom would have been a banger. What is this? This is actually really annoying. <laughs> I refreshed it too and everything. Okay, well, Saints or Buccaneers? It looks like Caesar Ruiz. It is going to be on the Bucks. Who is their IOL? Not going to lie, I might be cooked here. The only guy I can even think of is Ryan Jensen. I know he's a center, of course, but Tampa Bay confirmed. I, I, I don't know. The only guy I can think of is Ali Marpet, who retired like three years ago. And of course, my goat, Cody Mock himself, but obviously it's not him. He's only 25. I'm cooked. I'm just going to take the L on this one. Sua Apeda. Yeah, I didn't guess this guy. My bad. Well, here we go with the spin of death again. I shuffled up everything. The names are all still there, of course, except for the people that I have removed or not gotten as well. And we're going to, it's going to land on Dotson or Chris Boswell. Honestly, either or. It's fine with me. That was so loud. Who was our backup to Elijah Vera Tucker? So that's okay with me. Four wins. You know, let's try the new Minnesota Viking, Aaron Jones. He on there? He is. It's going to be offense AFC again. Please do not be a lineman. It looks like a lineman. I'm not going to lie. Let's go with my safe pick in Rashawn Slater. It's going to be 6'4", 25, under number 70. Yep. Goodness, these linemen are ridiculous. I'm going to try Kenyon Green again. I don't know why he just has stuck in my head. It is not going to be the South. Is this Cole Strange from the Patriots? It is AFC East guard. Okay. Is this one Osiris Torrance? It is not. This is still here. I, I went to another... Another page. This is very annoying. Liam Eichenberg. It is on Miami. Okay, I should be able to get this then. We'll go with Robert Jones. Robert Jones is crazy. If I'm not a Miami fan, I don't get that. <laughs> what is this, dude? Why is it here? And Robert Jones gets us back to five wins. But we ain't looking for five wins. I'm trying to get me a Super Bowl, man, and I need a running back. And once again, it ain't going to be it. An older defensive lineman, it looks like, in the NFC. Let's try out maybe a Kenny Clark here on the Packers. It is defensive tackle, 6'3", and 28 years old, and number 88, 98, or 99. I'm not sure how old he is, but we can try out Javon Hargrave here on the Niners. He's 31. It is not the NFC West, though. I think he's, I'm pretty sure Jonathan Allen's number 90. I don't think he's number 99. Maybe we can try... David on Yamada in the south, and it is going to be in the south. Shy Tuttle? I don't really know. It's freaking Shy Tuttle. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> As so far today, we have gotten Ezra Cleveland, Sua Apeda, Robert Jones, and now Shy Tuttle. What the hell? <laughs> Help me, bro. Help me. <laughs> I'll never understand when we add a player and just get worse. As I guess we're just going to have to deal with this now. Kind of annoying. Let's go with Devontae Smith. A six-foot defender, it looks like. Number seven or number eight. Okay, that's big time. The only person I can think of is Traverius Ward. I don't think it is him. I think he's a little bit taller, but he is number seven, we know now. <sighs> it's Jason Sanders, number seven, I think he is. He is. It is a kicker, though. Older kicker. Matt Gay. Nope, that's Willie Gay. Nice. Matt Gay. It's Matt Gay. I think we lost Chris Boswell, so like, we needed a kicker. This is the worst start ever, though. Like, genuinely, what is going on? And would you look at that? Matt Gay gets us all the way to 8-9, and nine, tied for top of the division, as Jacoby Brissett had 11 rushing touchdowns. <laughs> Wait, I didn't lose Chris Boswell. It was Kevin Dotson. 
Oh, okay, well, Matt Gay's presence is not to be forgotten, to say the least. Tua, give me Tua, 26 years old, 6'2 to 6'3. So I'm kind of thinking same draft class here. I think Antoine Winfield may be a little bit smaller, but let's go him anyway. He's like 5'9". It is a safety, though. This is good. Maybe we can try, like, Jaquan Brisker. I think he may be a little bit younger. Yeah, he's only 24, but now we know it's not in the north. And it's going to be number 10 or 11. Can't be many safeties number 10 or 11. We can try Hufunga. I think he's in the 20s though. Yeah, he's 29. And now we know it's going to be the NFC East. Let's try Derek Forrest from the Commanders. It is on Washington. Okay. Who is their other safety though? <laughs> Dude, this is the thing. They just lost Cam Carl. They replaced him with somebody. I don't remember. Ooh, is it Jeremy Chin? Jeremy Chin, I'm pretty sure he signed with the Commanders right after not resigning with the uh, Panthers. Jeremy Chin is going to be an awesome addition. Him at linebacker, it's going to be great. And is that true? Is he number 11 or 10? Yeah, he's number 11. As he's actually only a 75 there, I thought he'd be a little bit higher. However, every single position now has a pretty good player in it. And remember last year, we got eight wins up to six and 11 now, though. We are comfortably like above five wins now, I'd say. Ooh, look, defensive pastors were game number one in the league. We still, however, are still looking for something on offense. Lamar Jackson is that you it is not over 6-2 as well is not good let's try tristan Worfs as our next guest it is going to be the south and 25 years old okay that's big i'm glad i'm getting real sick of the nfc south now i swear we keep getting it. it's going to be atlanta and it looks like their center oh god like i can think of is matt hennessy i don't even think he's there anymore though yep he's on philly i i'm not getting this i'm not getting this drew dolman yeah i could have been here all day so back to the wheel of death it is absolutely loaded with player names now we have a ton of players on our team hopefully it lands on a bad one though chris or isaiah win i think he's back up anyway i'm cool with that i said our floor was five wins and now we're four and 13 again guess i just underestimated the um the impact of of course isaiah win himself 24 years old afc defense Ooh, I kind of like a little Patrick Queen guest here. 24 years old. We knew he was on defense, of course, and six foot. It's going to be six one. He's number six. Maybe Patrick Sertan. Is he 24? He's 23 still, but it is a corner. This is good. We need a corner number four. He's also number two. What am I doing? As it is going to be a young corner in the south, immediately I'm thinking Tyson Campbell. And it is Tyson Campbell. And that is our best cornerback by far now. Okay, not by far. He's an 83. I thought I thought he was a little higher. I'm not going to lie. But remember the other season, our defensive pass yards per game was actually number one in the entire league. And now you're telling me we had Tyson Campbell? Can Tyson Campbell get us into the playoffs? With three. Of course. Of course. We're an 80. I don't know. I don't know. We're on guest number 54 now. Offense in the NFC. Looks like a lineman. I'm not going to lie. How about a great lineman, though? How about a little Jordan Mailata action? NFC East, and it's going to be not a guard or not a tackle. So immediately, I'm not thinking Dallas. Let's go Sam Cosby, even though I'm pretty sure he's 25 years old. It is on Washington, though. Not going to lie. I am absolutely stuck right now. I have no idea who is in their IOL besides Ricky Strongberg, but obviously he's much younger than 27. I feel like this is somebody they just signed and i've just totally forgotten about it i don't know another one i'm giving up on we already got him though okay well that's why i didn't want to guess it because we literally already got him during this session or else i genuinely would have put it his name right nah 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 we got him at guest number 27 so i didn't know you could get repeats i don't know i guess you would have to get repeats at some point but that's genuinely the reason i didn't go with his name whatever i'll spin it anyway if this comes back to bite me i'm gonna be kind of mad i'm not gonna lie please stay on mitch morris don't not go to demario davis mitch morris is fine although he was the very first player we added and now we're gonna have to release the legend himself 5 and 12 this time around. So we're now on to guess number 55. It's gonna be a receiver. Way bigger than 6'1", though? Okay, way younger than 31. 17 under as well. Immediately in my head, I'm thinking Drake London. Not gonna be Drake London. That would have been an awesome guess. Not in the NFC South. Um, Tall receivers. Tall receivers. Ooh, is this DK Metcalf? Is this DK Metcalf? He's number 14. It checks out. D... K Metcalf, here we go. And the best part is we get to take him from a divisional rival. Although it seems like I have a curse because every receiver I've gotten so far, I've had to release. So please, DK, just stay around. I wonder if I can move Bobby Trees to running back. We might as well try it out at this point. He's an 82. Hold up. We might be cooking. Everything is filled out now. Everything is like a decent overall, you know? Can we finally get our first sniff of the playoffs? Bro, and after all that, we have an 88 squad. We go 5 and 12. Why? Why is Geno still trash? Robert Woods was nothing really special, to be honest. DK put up a thousand though. Mark Andrews good as well. Once we hit, I think 60, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some playbook changes. I'm just saying. <laughs> Cause dang it, this is getting a little crazy now to still be around this four or five win range. Okay, it's gonna be offense AFC. Over number 38. That's not good. God. Just be Rashawn Slater for 
<laughs> we got Rashad Slater finally. <laughs> no way. Okay, well, this is a lineman that I'm more than happy with. As he slots in at right tackle, I mean, come on now. This is the best O-line in the league. Come on now, Rashawn Slater. Get me into the postseason for once. 89, though. We're back at 89. I'm happy with that. This team, bro, I, I keep saying it. But, like, we dead ass are just up to an 89 overall now. Like, that's insane. Let's go with Rashawn Slater, the other tackle in that class. Of course, it's not a freaking O-line when I guess it. Let's try maybe Roquan Smith here. AFC North, not on defense. Sweet. Bring me back to reality then, kicker. Who's the Browns? D, D Hop, the real D Hop, Dustin Hopkins. Is this just freaking Chris Boswell again? I already have Chris Boswell, <laughs> as you can see right here. So we'll do that. I want again. It won't, it won't really count because it, it doesn't do anything. I'm not going to um, simulate another season there. Let's just guess a random person right here. Let's go with Byron Murphy. Why not? Of course. <laughs> Similarly to um, Rashawn Slater, let's go Travis Kelsey. Oh my God. What are we cooking right now? What are we cooking right now? Okay. <laughs> now we just added Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Holy crap. Um, holy crap. Of course. 99 overall as well you know and if we don't make the playoffs this year i have no words honestly i'm gonna keep him at tight end by the way because i mean he's a 99 overall there and you love seeing a 99 overall on your squad swifties this is for you what dude i'm sorry we need we need somebody better than gino dude this is not gonna cut it look robert woods actually wasn't even terrible he had 925 rushing yards come on this tandem should be unstoppable dude please what oh qb or running back how about a good old kirko nope it is on offense, though. Hmm, this might be a running back. Under 6'3", but over number 18. You can try out Derrick Henry. 6'2", it's not a running back. Dang it. What is this? Tight end? Receiver? Tim Patrick's like the only guy that comes to mind in the in the 80s as a receiver, and he's number 12, so it's not even right. Is this like Justin Watson, maybe? Number 84, it's not on the Chiefs. That was a good guess, though. <laughs> Wait, it's not receiver. What am I doing? Wait, who? What is this? <laughs> uh, it's going to be a guard or something. Trey Pipkins, the third. It is not on the Chargers, so it's going to be LV. I'm not going to lie. Raiders guard. I have no clue. <laughs> Freaking Richie Incognito, bro. I have somebody in mind. I, I can't think of his name, though. I'm just going to give up here. Who the actual hell was that? That was most certainly not who I was thinking of. I was thinking of Andre James. And instead, it's... Bro, come on on man <laughs> i mean really jordan freaking meredith we've been on a roll though we've gotten really great players as of late and yeah neither the, the wheel of death has been kind of blessing us i can't lie get out of here allegretti how can you release somebody with that smile man does he have a face scan too yeah real baller but see you later ow 91 overall team yet we still go 6 and 11 but after we add in christian mccaffrey everything's gonna change i don't see west right away though on defense and a little shorter please do not be special teams it might be special teams i'm not gonna lie try julian love first okay it's a safety johnny johnson the third what i was trying to do john johnson but i guess he's not even on here wait is this buddha baker now he's number three this might be buddha baker Hold up. And with Buda Baker now here, we have the best safety pairing in the league by far, if I say so myself. Jordan Poyer is going to be at slot as well. Maybe even a little sub linebacker too. There are just zero excuses now to miss the playoffs. 90 overall team. I mean, come on now. Get us in the playoffs. We not only do that, we finish 12 and 5 as well. Patrick Mahomes, Tyler Huntley, and Joe Burrow. What? Gino had a decent season, but can we win it all with him? That's the question. As Bobby Trees has been more than serviceable at running back, honestly, he just hit a K. DK Metcalf, monster season. Mark Andrews, awesome too. Devontae Parker, Kelsey, a little quiet. Tight ends not used a lot in the Cardinals playbook, I guess. As these four defensive linemen have been here from like the beginning, it feels like, and they've been awesome every single season for us. The defense has been really good, honestly. Oh, Buda Baker, the new additions, one pick, six TFLs. I'm excited now. I got some juice again. We got the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau. They're nine and eight, our very first playoff game in this video. And we get our first W as well against them. 24-14. Now we have the 10 and seven Saints, but they're coming to Arizona. We got home field advantage here. And of course we lose 24-14. Look at our my team ranks though. The defense was incredible. Okay, I'm feeling great now. We're on number 60. Can we keep this momentum rolling? We have been getting kind of blessed today. Josh Jacobs, not today. Try DJ Reed. I don't know, kind of random. It is a corner and 27 years old though. I'll try Shadobia Wuzie, the new Tennessee Titan. It is not him. Guess we can try the North. Maybe Marlon Humphrey. I think he's a little older than 27. He's not. It is Marlon Humphrey. Dude, we are getting banger after banger after banger right now. Legit, just look at our team now. Travis Kelsey, Chris Jones, Minga, Tooney. We have so many players above a 90 overall, including the new addition in Marlon Humphrey. Before then, we got Buda Baker. We just got Rashawn Slater, DK Metcalf as well. Today has been a good day. 12 and 5 last time around. Now we add Marlon Humphrey and we go 9 and 8, of course. Once again, though, matchup with the Packers in the wild 
wildcard round. We beat them again. We kind of own the Packers. 12 and 5. Dallas Cowboys up next in Arlington, Texas. We once again lose out here. That is okay, though. I'm happy to go back to Weddle because they've been, they've been good to us. They've been good at us, especially after we get Nick Chubb. Come on, bro. I need a running back. But I mean, I wouldn't mind a little Jordan Mailata action for you. Okay. NFC East, though. Maybe we can try Tyler Smith here, although I think he's way younger. Yeah, he's only 23. He's He's a guard. This could be um, Sam Cosme finally. Actually, I think he's 26. Yep, not him. It is on Washington. Dude, is this freaking Allegretti again? I swear. No, crap. <laughs> is it center? It is center. Who is the commander center? Didn't it used to be Nick Gates? He's not even here anymore. Isn't Stromberg their center though? Nah, man. It's like a, oh, it's like a backup center. You've got to be kidding me. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. No way I freaking get this. Oh no, they just signed Tyler Biedos, you idiot. You idiot. That's going to come back to bite me. Wheel of Death, though. Today, it's actually been pretty good. Last time, it was killing us. Amon Raw, Amari Cooper, Wyatt Teller. This time around, it's going to be going more, please. Joe Tooney. That hurts. That hurts. We do have a lot of depth on online, but that still hurts. As he is our highest overall one at 92. This one kind of hits home. However, I'm just going to move Rashawn Slater there. He's a 90 overall still as well, and we still have Cam Robinson. And after losing Joe Tooney back at 12 and 5, we go. We beat the Seahawks 38 to 2 there in week 18. We have Minnesota and Ramon. Remember, we took Darnold from them, so I'm not even sure how they're even here. I don't know who is even their quarterback. The 16 and 1 Cowboys up next. We have never made it past the divisional round here. Is it different this time around? Nope. The Cowboys boys are they're gonna be tough to beat and um yeah could you guess what we did it's time to unleash the beast low key though cardinals defensive playbook for a 3-4 it's actually kind of fire I'm a, I'm a big fan of it um lineman unless it's like trevor lawrence which would be really nice it is 6 6 24 years old why do i kind of want to go rashawn slater again <laughs> maybe we can try like jedrick wills of the browns it is an offensive tackle not in the north or south though Ooh, is it my guy austin jackson of course miami is a right tackle oh i really thought it was him why is he a guard? I'm a tad stumped here. I'm not going to lie. I just want to know what team, not Denver or LA. Kansas City? No, it's going to be the Raiders. Raiders right tackle. Jermaine Illuminor, although I think he moved to the Giants, right? Yeah. I don't know who this is. I don't know. These linemen are killing me, bro. I'm not going to lie. Tyre Munford Jr. Definitely pain. Definitely playing. I definitely know the name, but just wasn't going to guess it today. As we're gonna land on Nate Davis, that is a-okay with me. As that, and actually, I believe he's out here somewhere. Yeah, he's out here at linebacker, but not anymore. No Nate Davis, no problem. Back in the wildcard round, except this time we're playing the NFC West winners in the San Francisco 49ers. And we smoke them. Hold on, why are we kind of nice with it in the wildcard round? However, when we get to the divisional, we kind of fold. Yep, once again. We're close though, man. We are getting there. We are getting there. We still need a running back as we have got, we've missed the last two guesses. So not great showing for me. Okay. Mm this might be a safety by the looks of it. Let's go. Andre Cisco. Try that out. It is 24 years old, not a safety. That was also the same. What is his name? The TCU corner Mulrig, Trevon Melrig out of the Raiders. Of course it is AFC West. I, what am I doing? <laughs> Ooh, hold up. McDuffie, Trent McDuffie. I don't think he's that small though. Oh, he is, but it's not him. It is corner though. Which means my next guess is Asante. It is Asante Samuel Jr. In the cornerback room now, I am more than happy with. However, this time around, we only finished 9 and 8. Have the 9 and 8 Panthers here in the wildcard round, which we, I believe, are undefeated in so far. There it is. You see what I mean, though? How do we add in um, Asante Samuel Jr. and get worse? I don't under... Thanks. Lower than number 28, though. That's kind of interesting. I'm not quite too sure what number he is. I think he's like 95, but let's go Jalen Carter. He's 98, but we do get defense, NFC, 6465, and 23 years old. It's really young. Maybe like a Luke Van Ness on the Packers. That was a great guess. It is Green Bay linebacker. I'm going to go ahead and immediately say Quay Walker. And it is. That is our first linebacker in forever. Because legit, the only other linebacker we've gotten so far is Demario Davis. So Quay Walker should help out a little bit. As adding in Quay Walker gets us to only 8-9. and nine. Oh, we win in the wild card 10-7 to seven against a much better Eagles side, by the way. Now we have Kirko, though. Kirko is quite unstoppable. Hold up. Can this be the year? We're the year we're 8-9, and nine, of course. However, the Cowboys, I don't think we've beat them yet. And they smoke us again. The, the Jets? Oh, I can smell it, though. I can smell it. We are so close. I am getting it on this recording session, Micah Parsons. Nope. Okay, under 11, under 6'3". This should be a skill position player. Let's try out Calvin Ridley. I know he's number zero now. Okay, it's AFC South wide receiver, not Tennessee, though. And also number one or number two. Is this... Do they add Stephon Diggs? Remember, I guessed him earlier. 
They did add Stefan Diggs. Okay, that is awesome. Remember, I guess when he was on Buffalo, they just updated it, and that's pretty cool to see. I was gonna say, because nothing else really checked out their Stefan Diggs, though. Is now our wide receiver one alongside DK, Mark Andrews, too. As Stefan Diggs gets us to 12 and 5 winners of the NFC West for the first time, I believe, in this video so far, as we got the Niners here in the wild card round. We beat them 35 19. Now we have the Eagles once again here, who we beat last season, 10-7 um, without Stefan Diggs, 28-23. Here's the team, though. Here's been the bogey team, the the wall in front of us. I guess you could say the Dallas Cowboys, 14 and three. We have not beat them yet. Jesus Christ, and it seems like we're not gonna beat them for a while. I'm sorry, but 52 to seven is crazy, Gino. Gino, 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 what are you doing? Who? Kelsey was great, but we couldn't guard CeeDee Lamb and Jalen Tober. Question marks are in there, though. Can we beat the Cowboys? Can da or can Gino Smith do it? I don't know. It's gonna be offense. Higher than 6'2". Let's go Peter Skaronski. Why not? Oh, it's on Tennessee. Hello. Above 77 makes me think it's a tight end. Let's go Chigi Okonkwo. And it is. Okay. And with Okonkwo now, we just went 13 and 4. Another NFC West title. Still yet to see the number one bye week, of course, Um, in the NFC. 28-21, we beat Big Old Kirko, of course. 11 and 6 Buccaneers, a team we have not played. A team I haven't really taken many players from. Ah, this is the, the Eagles all over again. If you know, you know the Cowboys in the conference championship. We beat them. We beat them. And we got the Bengals in the Super Bowl. Is it time? Spin number 66, I believe we were on. And we're facing the 12 and 5 Bengals. And we, by overalls, are the clear favorites here. So let's get things started. I don't believe I took many players from Cincinnati. If I'm being honest with you, they drive down, get a field goal. We keep them out of the end zone there. It looks like we're gonna tie up the ball game here. No, we score a touchdown. I think we went for it on fourth down there. Very nice, 14-3. 10 the Bengals are definitely still in this game. Second half on its way now as they start with the ball here drive down take the lead but we get the lead right back 21 17 24 17 up a touchdown into quarter number four and let's freaking hop in and watch this team is geno smith a superstar did he go up two dev traits i'm pretty sure he's only normal right here we go though start of the fourth quarter where the big money is made oh my god really really it's gonna be a pick six too it's going to be a pick six, too. Oh, my God. I never want to hop in again. I never want to hop in again. I guess I'm bad luck. It's, look at this. We're just simming like this now, and we're freaking driving. Look at Robert Woods, baby, the RB1. As I now will hop in, because I kind of want to watch the team that we have built from ground zero all throughout Weddle, too, which is very cool to see. Robert Woods, Bob B. Trees. First down. He's doing a whole lot of nothing, though. <laughs> Remember, like, when he was on the Rams, though? He always got jet sweeps. He always got handoffs in the backfield. So this is not a, you know, a crazy different role for him, Gino. At least... Nope, he took a sack. Oh, come on. Come on, Gino. At least give me some points here. Play action. What is the blocking here? They're just bringing everybody. Bro, I dead ass shouldn't hop in because we were driving when I was just watching. I hop in again, and it's now third and 23. Just like that. Gino, where are you going? Jesus, are we even in field goal range anymore? We're going to be punting. That's crazy. Okay, I'm only hopping in to watch if it's a crucial, crucial down because I am just bad luck second and 12. Mike Gazicki for 23 yards. I remember I guessed him earlier. The Bengals kind of driving down here third and four. Kareem Hunt. Right, really? And if they get the first down here on the third and four, they could kill a lot of clock. I'm not even going to lie, but we're a defense. Go, gets home. Christian Wilkins, one of the first players I added. Player number two that we added in this video is still making plays. 66 guesses later. Evan McPherson gets the field goal off. The Bengals go up three. And yes, I know. I'm hopping in. We got to watch this drive, though, right? Down three. Three timeouts left. Under two minutes to go. Geno Smith. What can you do for me? He finds Travis Kelsey, I believe that is, for an eight-yard gain. Third and three now. Our first timeout, or no, our second timeout has been used. It is Mark Andrews this time, though. Big first down. Let's go. Let's go. We don't got time to waste. Six-second runoff, not too shabby. A minute and ten. Geno Smith out of the gun once again here as we're driving. We're on the 44. Geno. Geno? Oh! That was right in his hands. Not really sure who that was. That might have been Kelsey, dude. I'm not going to lie. Under a minute to go. Gino, dude, our old line is kind of folding. I'm not going to lie. Jesus. 36 seconds to go. We're keeping that one timeout so we can get in field goal range, hopefully, if Gino can clutch up right now. It is the first time. Why do they keep tackling us like that? Eight second runoff. We need about 10 yards here. We need about 10 yards. DK Metcalf with a huge gain. 12 seconds to go. Gino, I'm getting a little sick of these checkdowns. Oh, God. 
All right, well, here we go. As we do get ice, I believe our kicker is still Chris Boswell. This is deep, though. 50 yards here to tie up the ball game, to go to extra time. And it's good. And it's good, Chris Boswell. What a freaking legend. Wow. Wow. As that was a 58-yard field goal by Chris Boswell. Dude, holy. As overtime is here, they already have the ball. Of course, new overtime rules. We do get the ball if they score. However, they are punting. Hold up. We have a great chance of winning the Super Bowl and ending this challenge as a whole. All we need is to get into field goal range, and that's pretty much inside 60 yards with Chris Boswell, right? As we're just about almost already there because the Bengals went three and out, had a short field for us as well. Geno Smith steps up in the pocket. There's room. Good slide. Good slide. Let's just run the ball now. Bro, did we actually just do it? Oh, we're in empty. I just said let's run the ball, and we come out in empty. Gino, nothing dumb, please. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Gino! The, the questions were asked. Could Gino Smith do it? Could we beat the Cowboys? Is Gino Smith good enough, clutch enough, cute enough? Hell yeah, he freaking is. Gino Smith, they wrote him off. He did not. Can we stop passing the ball? He did not write back, though. Just kidding. Whatever. Gino Smith knows best, baby. Gino Smith knows best. And ladies and gentlemen, the Super Bowl has been won on spin number 66 after adding in Chiggy Okonkwo here. And the challenge is completed. Let's go, bro. Holy, what a game as well, you know. As our very first Super Bowl appearance, and we get the W ending 1-0. Gino Smith in the Cardinals uniform looks a little bit weird here. However, anybody... Standing with that Lombardi looks good to me. Come on, baby. And what an absolute monster class from Geno Smith as well. After we came in and he threw that bad pick six to get the Bengals back in the game, he still went 33 for 41, 422 yards, three passing touchdowns. He may just be a Super Bowl MVP. As our run game was um, certainly not there at all. Bobby Trees averaged 2.2 a carry. However, receivers, I mean, the weapons we had here were incredible. Kelsey was great. DK Metcalf, both of them, and Mark Andrews with eight receptions there and 80 plus yards. Stephon Diggs, incredible with 100 yards as well as a touchdown. Bobby Trees on the backfield. Defensively, Will Anderson, Marlon Humphrey, Buda Baker, all with seven total tackles. There are two TFLs for Chris Jones and Christian Wilkins, the big one we saw on that third down, of course, which was pretty much game-winning as we did not have a sack. That is very surprising, especially against the Bengals O-line as well. It's not great, you know, but Tyson Campbell and Marlon Humphrey with the two interceptions on Burrow. Man, I am I'm so happy, though, that we are done now. I was getting a little scared in the middle, you know, which is just how long is this going to take? Can I get lucky enough to get, you know, great players, of course, and, um, we ended up getting on a very, very hot streak here at the end as Geno Smith is officially your Super Bowl MVP. That's the problem. All right, right back. Let's go. All right. Congratulations, Geno. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But here is the official squad, though. Every single player we have added so far. I'll probably put a list on the screen, too, if you guys want to check it out this way. Or we can just scroll through everybody here. Awesome challenge, though. I'm very glad we were able to get this one done. 66 spins as well. Of course, my guess earlier on was like 45. <laughs> What a joke that was, but hey, you can't hit on them all. It's all up to luck at the end of the day as we added in every single player. We lost a lot of people as well. Remember, Amari Cooper, Amon Ross St. Brown, Wyatt Teller, Joe Tooney. I'm sure there were some other ones there as well. A shout out to Chiggy Aconquo at spin number 66. Yes, I'm calling it spin, and I'm doing it on purpose nowadays. Shai Tuttle, remember Aiden O'Connell. Dude, the quarterbacks we got were unbelievable. Sam Darnold, Aiden O'Connell, Jacoby Brissett, who we moved to running back, and of course, Geno Smith, who was the first guy we had. Of course, the linebacker experiment with Braden Mann, Jack Fox, and then we still got some zero overall dudes as well here. But hey, at the end of the day, the challenge was completed. The challenge was successful. Hopefully, showcased off some ball knowledge as well. Definitely had some bad misses as well in the middle of those. Just some brain fart moments. There was a lot of players, a lot of numbers going through my mind, you feel me? But at the end of the day, we got the job done. As we'll end it off with Christian Wilkins, who we added second overall throughout this entire video and everybody around him we lost mitch morse number one we lost amon raw number four we lost number three white teller we lost christian wilkins stuck around and not only did that but played a big big role in the super bowl we just won as well making a huge play in it so we'll end it off with him as if you made it at this point in the video of course i really do appreciate you if you guys watch the whole thing that really truly means the world of course leave a like if you enjoyed comment down below whatever you want as well and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as this was Maybe my favorite video I've done so far. I had, I've had this idea for a while, but I never really knew how to do it. And I think everything kind of worked out perfectly. It'll definitely be an, um, an idea I live stream in the future. Maybe sometime next week because we, I do have the necessary upgrades now on my PC. So very excited for that as a whole. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, leave a like, leave a comment at the end of the day, though. If you are watching, I appreciate you at the end of the day. So um, 
yeah, take care, everybody. Peace out. See ya. Why did I say peace out? I don't know. See ya. Actually, we'll end it off on this screen as we have 80 games played now. I'm not sure what we had before I started playing because remember, I played some before 81 win percentage, current streak of four we ended off on, and then a max streak of 10 there. I could never get over max streak. You know what? F it. I'm going to go until I can't get it anymore. <laughs> so if you're still here, I appreciate you. God damn. We got Devondre Campbell in five. That's a five streak. Wow, really? <laughs>